Hey everyone, uh, today we're gonna be talking about why I fired Warner as my company. <laughs> Let's get this started. First of all, I am straight out of tally. <laughs> Not really. Right now we're straight out of Indianapolis. But uh, yeah, I fired Warner. I, you know, here's what happened. I called him up on the phone and uh, I, I just gave him the, the Vince McMahon. You're fired. You're fired. What? Not really, not really. But I, uh, yeah, man, <laughs> this um, <laughs> past couple weeks have been crazy. It's uh. Right now it's Sunday, Sunday night. Tomorrow, we have orientation with our new company. And um, Friday, we picked up this truck. Man, <laughs> it's a nice looking truck, man. I, I, I still can't believe this is, is this is happening, but, um, yeah, man, we're going to, um, we're going to work in defense trucking. We, um, man, <laughs> oh, man, I just keep like, oh, my gosh, man, you know, but first we'll talk about Warner. We'll get into the advanced thing here in a second, but, um, yeah, this is not like I'm sitting here going to bash Warner for everything. There was some things that happened that I don't agree with, and and actually, and it wasn't even like Warner. It was Pegasus, but you know, I talked about that in another video. You know, this is basically why I left Warner and where I'm going. Um, <laughs> we, uh, oh gosh, man, when did this this happen? You know, basically, the, uh, there was some stuff that was leading up with Warner. You know, I turned in the, uh, the Cascadia, and, uh, and I was supposed to get another Cascadia. Excuse me. And, uh, at the last second, it, you know, gone. And, uh, I ended up getting this loaner, T680. Which was, which was a nice truck. And uh, we had that truck for about two weeks. But there was like probably like three and a half weeks that there was no truck, you know. I had this loaner truck, the, 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 the T680, but I didn't have nothing of mine, you know. It's a little frustrating, you know. Yeah, I know they, they they were looking for a truck for me, but I don't know. I I didn't think it would take this long to find a truck. You just get frustrated. And you just keep calling and calling like, "Hey, you get me a truck? You get me a truck?" You know. I didn't think I needed to be doing all the work. You know, it, it seemed like I was calling them more than they were calling me. She should be calling me. Hey, we got this truck. What do you think? Eh, yeah, you know, yeah. I don't understand it. And you know, I drove to Kenworth, and it's not where what I wanted. You know, I wanted another Cascadia. But actually, after I drove to Kenworth, that's a nice truck, man. And that's what we got sitting outside here. But, um, yeah, I guess they just assume that you're just, you know, everyone's just going to hang on. They're not going to go nowhere. Like, it made me think that they thought that I needed them more than they needed me. So, you know, with, uh, man, it was just, it was just frustrating. You know, 
probably the main reason that we end up leaving. Ooh, excuse me. Long couple of days. The main reason where I'm at, where I'm going to advanced trucking. I just need to be better in control of my business with Warner. That's not gonna happen, you know. You're gonna be there, and uh, I don't know. Just, to me, it seemed like you know this opportunity couldn't pass this up, and I, uh, I just couldn't. Everything just happens so fast, you know, just. I just still, I just, I just got off the phone with my wife, and I was just like, man, I can't believe this is actually going to happen tomorrow. Um, and uh, actually, you know, <laughs> I, I remember I, uh, after I, I was getting frustrated with the uh, not having the truck, and uh, not having my own truck. I'm sorry. I think this is even before I got the loaner. And I was already thinking, like, maybe we should just forget this loaner and just go on, leave, get out of here. So I, uh, you know, I, I made made some phone calls. And, uh, you know, other companies. And I wasn't really getting the information that I wanted. Actually, I wasn't getting the answers that I wanted, you know. So I, uh... <laughs> this is this is how everything happened, man. It, this it's weird. It's like every everything happened so fast, man. It was just on on a Monday, the tenth. I, I I just I don't know why. I just I remembered all these. The tenth was a Monday, and uh, you know I thought because I had called a couple of companies, and one company I called was Snyder. And I asked them, you know, about their, you know, the Steiner Finance Program and everything. And they told me, like, flat out told me, because I lived in Florida, they they don't want to finance anybody from Florida because there's, they said there's just no freight coming in out of Florida. And uh, that made me hard for me to believe because I see all these trucks coming in and out of Florida all the time, you know. I don't know if they're loaded, <laughs> but you see them moving. So I am. Uh, I called them a couple times and I, I didn't get the answer, you know, that I thought I was going to get. So I called up CPAP, Hitchcock Transportation, and I asked him about Schneider because he was, you know, he was a Schneider guy. And he went to Advanced, and uh, and he basically told me, you know, I mean, this wasn't his exact words, but you know, forget Schneider, you just need to go to Advanced. And I said, man, I don't know, man. That's that's a huge step, man. So he, uh, he's like, nah, man, nah, man. You got it. You can do it. No problem. We'll get you through it. You know, running the load boards. We'll, we'll help you, man. You know. And I'm like, oh, man, I don't know if I'm ready for something like that, you know. And after you talk to him, it's just like, you know what? Screw it, man. Let, let's do this. You know, I, if I don't do this now. I, mean, I, I don't want to look back four or five years from now and be like, damn, man, I freaking should have done it. So he uh, he gets me in contact with Daniel Nottingham and uh, talk to him for a couple minutes. And he gets me through to Angela. And uh, she works, you know, there at, at, at Advanced Trucking. Boom. That was it, man. It was just, it started going, you know. You know, she got me to, you know, quality. And that's where we, we leased the truck through. And, uh, <laughs> you know, like, you know, by the 10th, you know, I talked to him. <laughs> that Friday, I, I was, I was out doing a drug test. You know, and that was that. You know, we, uh, I, uh, that, that Saturday, or Friday, was it S Friday or Saturday? I can't remember. Friday, because Friday we took the drug test. Friday morning, we got into Atlanta, one of our terminals there for Warner. 
and I had told my manager what was going to be happening possibly, you know, but I didn't have any dates. And um, you don't want to think of like retaliation and stuff, but I don't know. It is what it is. If it isn't, it sure looked like it. But we, because I told him a couple days in advance, like probably like t Wednesday or so, you know, yeah, I may be possibly leaving the company, you know, you know, we got approved, we're getting a truck, and that's that. But as soon as I have the dates, I'll give you a notice, and that's that. We uh, dropped off our, our uh, we had a load that was going to North Carolina, and I was, I just wanted to get home, because I had my wife with me, and we had to get, we had to get home. And uh, we got into Atlanta Friday morning, <laughs> and I didn't get another load until Saturday about 2 p.m. And uh, and that load was a terrible load. It pick it was a you know swap off and picked up there in Atlanta, and it was going to Ocala, which was on the way home, and they wanted me to drop it off in Jacksonville. And I uh, questioned it. I said, well, why don't you just let me take it to, and deliver it? No. Drop it off in Jacksonville. All right. So I dropped it off in Jacksonville. Had a dead head home. About three, three and a half hours. And, um, and I told him I was going to go home, do a reset, come back out Monday morning. Monday morning comes around, 34 hour reset complete, here I am, hanging, waiting, waiting some more, a couple conversations, and the one thing that I knew, that I knew right from the, what they said to me, it was time to go, these were his exact words, and I said, um, what's going on with the loads, you know, Monday morning, yeah, I thought you'd have me a load. Well, there ain't really much going on right now. And that's happened sometimes, like, when you, if you get into a crappy area. And I know it's Florida, but sometimes, you know, with a major company, you know, big company like that, Mega Carrier, whatever you want to call them, they, they got freight. So, uh, you know, I, you know, sometimes the owner-operator, you, you, I don't want to say you make threats or make comments, but I made the comment... Well, maybe I just need to go home. I was already home. I mean, it was literally, you know, 100 yards from my house, you know. And I said, well, maybe I just need to go back home, and I'll just come back out tomorrow morning because I'm not going to sit around all day here, idle in the truck. You know, it's like 95 degrees outside. I'm just going to sit here and idle the truck and, you know, waste my gas, you know, waste my fuel, waste my time. I could be, you know, hanging out with my kids and my wife if you ain't going to give me no load. And he said, right when he told me this, I knew it was time to go. And they always, every time this always happens, they would always come back and say, oh, hold on, hold on. You know, don't, no, 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 don't do that. We'll, we'll give you this. And he sent back and said, well, if you want to go home, go home. All right. And right then, right then and there, my decision, done, done, you know. So we went back to the house and talked over with my wife for a while and, and it was still kind of not really up in the air but you know we kind of knew we had to be in Indianapolis and uh, my whole thing was I was just going to drop the truck off in Indianapolis at the terminal that I'm right here I could pick up the new truck and boom done so the uh, next day same thing nothing you know nothing's going on so I said hey how about this I'm picking this truck like on Friday if you're gonna help me get to Atlanta or not so we're just gonna go and we're gonna drop the truck off in, in Lakeland Florida I'm sorry that's just the way it is you know I had no ties to this truck you know it was a loner so it's not mine so I had to call Pegasus let, let them know Say, so, hey, you have to drop your truck off in uh, 
Atlanta or Lakeland, they're not getting me closer. I was like, you know, I tried to get somewhere to drop your truck off, but they won't let me, so I'm sorry. You know, the keys for your truck will be here. I know you're probably upset, but I'm sorry. You know, if you got a problem, you need to talk to the dispatch, our fleet manager. And, uh, we, uh, so I was able to fly from St. Pete to Indianapolis on Thursday, Friday, picked up the truck. Tomorrow morning, Monday, orientation, we're on the spot market. <laughs> that's how it works, man. May not work for everybody, <laughs> but that that's my story. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, I was kind of upset that it happened this way with Warner, but sorry, lost another good driver. But um, can't dwell on that anymore. We are full-fledged owner-operator now. <laughs> We're going to advanced trucking. Man, I can't wait. I'm excited, nervous, everything. So if you want to join us along the way, Appreciate sure you guys watching all these other videos. But this whole new chapter is going to be awesome. So I hope you guys stick along. If you guys stick along, I'll keep making the videos. So, uh, yeah, we left Warner. We're now at Advanced Trucking. Man, this is going to be awesome. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, man. They just. Thank you, uh, CPAP, for getting me in touch with Daniel. Daniel, Dennis, and Angela, I appreciate you uh, giving me the chance to, to do this, so it's going to be awesome. I uh, appreciate you guys watching, and uh, hopefully you guys stick around and see what we got going on in the future. For right now, Indianapolis, tomorrow morning, advanced trucking. Here we go. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone.